day everyone. For today, we will be discussing the second kind of variation, which is inverse variation. By definition, inverse variation occurs whenever a situation produces pairs of numbers whose product is constant. So its difference from direct variation is that in direct variation, the constant is the ratio of the two pairs of numbers, while, while in inverse variation, the constant is their product. And also, for two quantities x and y, an increase in x causes a decrease in y or vice versa, which means if x increases in inverse variation, y will decrease. And vice versa, if x decreases, it means that y will increase. Let me show you a situation that involves inverse variation. Juan Paulo is riding on his bicycle in going to school. If the distance between his home and school is 8 kilometers, how long it will take him to come to school given the following speed? So let us identify the time Juan Paulo will spend in biking considering the different speed. So if Paulo has a speed of 8 kilometers per hour, how long it will take him to reach the school? Yes, one hour because the speed is 8 kilometers per hour and the distance from home to school is 8 kilometers. How about if his speed is 4 kilometers per hour? Yes, it will took him 2 hours to reach the school. What if his speed is 2 kilometers per hour? Then, yes, it will take him 4 hours to reach the school and if the speed is 1 kilometers per hour, then it will take him 8 hours to reach the school. According again to the definition, in an, inverse, in an inverse variation, if two quantities or if x increases, then y will decrease and vice versa. If we are going to look at the speed of 1 Paulo, which is 8, 4, 2, and 1, you are going to notice that the variable decreases from 8, 4, 2, and 1. On the other hand, if we look at the time, we have 1, 2, 4, and 8, you are going to notice that the variables or that the values increases. So as the speed decreases, the time will increase. But the trend of the values is not enough for us to say that this actually is an inverse variation. By definition, again, it is an inverse variation if the pairs of numbers give us a constant product. And if we are going to look at this, if we get the product of the pairs, 8 times 1, yes, that is 8. 4 times 2, that is also 8. 2 times 4, that is 8. And 1 times 8 is 8. So if we are going to notice the product are constant, so which means that this situation is an inverse variation. Why again? Because number one, the product is constant, constant, and number two, as the value of speed decreases, you are going to notice that the value of time increases. Using our table of values, let us see the graph of an inverse variation. So this is our graph. If the speed is 8, then the time is 1. If the speed is 4, then the time is 2, and so on and so forth. And if we are going to connect the dot or the points, then this is how the graph will look like. There. So if you are going to notice, the graph of direct variation is different from an inverse variation. The graph of a direct variation is a straight line, but as you can see here, the graph of an inverse variation is a smooth curve. The statement y varies inversely to x, if we are going to translate that, will become y equals k over x, where k is the constant of variation. Again, the k or the constant of variation in direct variation is the ratio, while in direct, in inverse variation rather, the constant of variation is actually the product. And if we are going to consider our previous situation, we can say that the time varies inversely as the speed. And if we are going to translate that, it will become t equals ks. 
Let us have two more examples of situations that illustrates inverse variation. Let us have number one. Number of pet chai plants in a row varies inversely as the space between them. What does it mean? Kung mas malaki ang spaces ng pet chai, ibig sabihin mas kakaunting pet chai ang inyong maitatanim. That is why it is in it is an inverse variation. And if pet chai is p and then the spaces is s, then we can write it or we can translate the situation as p equals k over s, which means the pet chai varies inversely as the space between them. And the second situation, the number of persons N needed to do a job varies inversely as the number of days D to finish the job. So if you want to finish the job earlier or a small number of days, it means that you need to hire more people to do the job. And if we are going to translate it in an equation wherein the number of persons is N and the days is D, then it will be translated as N equals k over d. Let us now solve problems that involves inverse, inverse variation. So number one, if a varies inversely as b and a is equals 2 and then b is equal to 3, find a when b is equal to 6. And then we have number two, the number of hours required to finish a certain job varies inversely as the number of persons on the job. If eight persons require nine hours to finish the job, then how long should it take for 24 persons to finish the job? Let us answer the first problem. Just like direct variation, we just need to follow the steps. Again, number one, translate the situation into an equation, then solve for the constant of variation, then you need to write the equation of variation so that you can solve for the unknown. The statement A varies inversely as B, if you are going to translate into an equation, will be written as A equals K over B. We are going to use the first pair of values, A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3, so that we can solve for the value of K. Therefore, we are going to write 2 equals K over 3. Because again, our A is 2, that's why we have 2 here. And then our B is 3, that's why we have 3 over there. To simplify, we can use cross multiplication. We will be having over 1 here. And if we do that, we will be having K is equal to 6. Then, if k is equal to 6, it means that the equation of variation is a equals 6b. We just use the translation and then we just substitute the value of k. We are going to use this equation of variation to solve for the unknown. Again, the question is find a when b is 6. And if we use this equation, then we will be having a is equal to 6 over 6. The 6 here is our k, the value of k, and then b here is equal to 6, which means that the value of a is 1. So again, if 2 is if a is 2, b is 3. And if A is 1, B is 6. You are going to notice from 2, the value of A, it becomes 1. The trend is decreasing. And here, B is 3. Then if A is equal to 1, B becomes 6. So the value increases. And if we multiply 2 times 3, it will give us 6. And then 1 times 6 is also 6. For our last example, let us have problem number 2. The number of hours required to finish a certain job varies inversely as the number of persons on the job. If 8 persons requires 9 hours to finish the job, how long should it take for 24 persons? So we will be using again these steps which will give us the first one. You are going to translate this. The number of hours varies inversely as the number of person. If you are going to translate that, it will give us T equals K over N, where T is the hours or the time and then N is for the number of persons. To solve for K, let us go back again in the problem. It says 8 persons requires 9 hours to finish the job. 
which means that the value of t time is 9 and the value of n the number of persons is 8 and to solve for k we are going to use cross multiplication which will give us the value of k which is 72 which means that the equation of variation is t equals kn and this is the equation that we are going to use to solve for the unknown. If the equation of variation is t equals 72 over n, the question is how long should it take for 24 persons to finish the job? We will be having t equals 72 over n because we are looking for the time. Ang given is n, ito yung bilang ng tao, which means that t is equal to and if t is equal to 3, anong ibig sabihin nun? It means it will take 3 hours for 24 persons to finish the job. Again, kung 8 na tao lang ang gagawa, you will have 9 hours to finish the job. Pero kung tataas ang bilang ng gagawa becomes 24, what happened to 9 hours? Bababa siya into 3 hours. That is inverse variation. Thank you for watching.